The next prevention tool would be probiotics. How many in this room take probiotics? Probiotics, if you don't know what probiotics are, what they are is good bacteria for the gut and the whole body, but they grow in the gut. When we can grow good bacteria in the gut, then we can crowd out that yeast that might be growing in there from too much sugar. So it's like a little domino effect. So when you're someone who wants to take an active role in changing the way you've been eating, maybe really reversing the way your body fights off disease and things, decreasing sugar is the first step. But then adding a probiotic into the body every day on an empty stomach, first thing in the morning and or last thing before bed. It's like you're putting in a fresh scoop of produce that's been rotting in your fridge, but putting it in your compost bin and stirring it up. You know how great that compost bin looks after a couple of weeks of putting your scraps in there? Well, that's what happens inside, but you can get it in a powder form or a capsule form, and it's going to grow a great compost bin inside your gut. When there's a great bacteria count in the gut, nothing else can grow in there. There's no room for it to grow. I always ex give an example of having a fresh plot of land in your backyard and rototilling a garden and then getting so busy you forget the seeds. You didn't bring the seeds with you, but you've got this freshly rototilled lawn. You know, beautiful, beautiful loam. It's beautiful, dark, rich. There's worms in it. It's all ready. But then you go on a trip and you come back a week later. You didn't plant your seeds in there, but what's going on? There's a bunch of stuff growing in there, right? Nothing you wanted. That's the same in our gut. So if we don't put on purpose the plants or the nutrients and the, and the bacteria to grow in our garden, then everything that we don't want will grow there. Believe me, it will grow there. So when you get that little bout of diarrhea or you've got that upset stomach and you go, geez, did I must have eaten something wrong? Think about it. Have you had that gut pain on and off for a couple of days or a couple of weeks? Get on some probiotics and it goes away because you're telling whatever's in there, get out, you don't belong here. And what that will do is improve your immune system. And so when I recommend probiotics to people, it's not just when they're on antibiotics. Because if you take an antibiotic, what do you do? You kill off the bad bacteria, but you're killing off all the good stuff too. So if you've worked really hard at trying to grow that good compost bin in there, and you've taken a Z-Pack in the last week, you're walking around with a sterile gut. It's now empty. It's that rototilled garden just waiting for the weeds to grow in it, so you've got to get busy. And I always say two months is about what it takes to really focus on getting that gut full. Because what happens? How many times have you had a bacterial infection, say a bronchitis, and you go to your provider and they give you an antibiotic, and then you get over that, and two weeks later you catch the cold from your husband, and you're sick again, and you go, why am I sick again? I just got over this. Why do you think? Your immune system is depleted. So get really busy, and I always use the Juice Plus, especially when people are sick, because I don't want them eating a lot of food. I want them healing. I want them getting nutrients, but little food, because I want the energy to go to healing the body. So I tell them, take Juice Plus every two hours for about two days, and don't eat very much. Just do the chicken soup or the broth, you know, the broth, but let the body get a lot of antioxidants so it tells that bacteria or that virus to go away. And you can do that at home as well, but juicing is a lot more work. And it's not practical. I mean, most people, most people are not successful at it long term.